Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. Hey everyone, today is going to be a tutorial on how to RNG Pokemon in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Um, this is going to be a guide specifically for Method 1 Pokemon, so this is basically any stationary or gift Pokemon this should work on. Um, and uh, kind of a forewarning, this is extremely tedious, um, not the most fun or practical, but you can actually use it to get some pretty decent IVs or, you know, a shiny if you'd like. Um, and you need a, uh, it also requires a bunch of setup, which I'll go over now. Um, but before I do all of that, um, I'm going to say this is like a combination of two methods. Um, the first is the method, uh, to, like figured out by Omega Donut basically where you find like get a get a method one Pokemon and then use that to find your initial seed and the other one is by a um, oh man I can't remember I'll link the guy's channel but he's a speedrunner who uses a s similar abuse to get specific stats on a starter so this is sort of a combination of um, their two methods and um, I'll link the whole Smogon research uh, RNG thread so you can go over uh, all of it and how you'd like um, to peruse that information as you want but so out of game I'll go over a few things first you'll need poke finder um, you're also gonna need your secret ID if you want a shiny um, you're gonna need a calculator you're gonna need the old eon timer um, and you're gonna set it to gen 3 and variable target mode so that's this with the question marks you're gonna need the program live split then you're gonna um, go into settings and you're gonna set the start split button to space and you all, all you need is just this like and you could use any timer you want I just think live split works really easily it's this is where I got from the speedrunner um, you're also gonna need a program called fire red leaf green seed finder and you're gonna need a stack calc and it's actually a specific one you're gonna need to use metal kids stack calc um, because of the way it works um, then in game I'll get into the game you're going to need a few things as well you're going to need at least, I would say, 10 rare candies that you're okay with, like, permanently losing. You're, you're going to need to be saved in front of the game corner, and you're going to need a bunch of uh, coins. So there's a, also a few things to note here. Um, for this demonstration, I've hacked in infinite rare candies and, like, uh, infinite coins here. Um, this is... They're actually, like, really... I didn't do it specifically for this. They're really old, but you don't need, you don't need the hacks. You just need, like, 10 rare candies and a bunch of coins. Um, and so the basic method is, um, the problem with Fire Red and Leaf Green is that you can't know your initial seed. Um, there's, and there's no way to figure it out. Um, and so the, the only way to figure it out is to basically catch a Pokemon. It's not the only way. There's, a, there's, a, there's another method that I'll, I'll probably never cover by uh, Zari, uh, which is where you kind of guess your initial seed based on timing, which I, I really won't cover. But... Basically, your best method is to buy a game core Pokemon and then calculate its uh, stats. So Abra needs more rare candies, but he's cheaper with coins. Scyther needs more coins, but uh, less rare candies. So I used Scyther. I, I don't think it matters. It's whatever is easier for you. And remember, um, when you eventually find the Pokemon, uh, finally, you will um, you will lose those rare candies and coins forever, uh, just as a method of finding your initial seed. And so I'm gonna go over the way we're doing this now. So, stock reset. So, in order to find your seed, and so in this demonstration, I'm gonna be going for a shiny Clefairy um, in uh, uh, in the game corner itself. But like I said, this will work for pretty much anything, um, any of the method one Pokemon. Um, so, in Eon Timer, you're going to like just click the update button and then move the cursor so the blue part's highlighting start. And then your space bar should be bound to start your timer at the same time, like your live split timer. And what you're going to do is hit space at the same time as you hit start on fire red. So I've done that there. And as you can see, a timer starts going up on Eon Timer. Or on, not on Eon Timer. Eon Timer's thing switches to cancel. And the other timer starts counting up. Now what you're going to do is buy the Scyther or whatever Pokemon you choose to as quickly as possible. Then you're going to check its stats. So... And uh, now all you have to do is type in its stats at basically every level here. 
So Scyther, and I'm hasty natured. Um, and just the timer's just gonna keep going up. Um, Scyther's default level is 25, and uh, I usually have like three more here. And so now we have to just type in Scyther stats at every single uh, level, and this will allow you to accurately calculate its stats without getting it to like a very very high level, like 50 or whatever. Um, and this is pretty much how you're going to be determining your initial seed. So I go back out, and I'm going to be spamming rare candies on the Scyther. You can't really see that, but I'll show. I'll show it now. Um, I prefer to be quick. The quicker you are with this, the more options pretty much you'll have for um, for seeds, uh, like for not seeds, like frames you can hit because every second, you know, every every second or you know whatever that goes by is a frame passing, or it's you know. It's 60 frames per second, so the faster you get this done, um, the sooner you know your seed, the faster you'll be able to attempt an RNG. So, alright, so I'm just typing in all of the stats here. And like I said, you'll have to be doing this every single attempt. Um, <laughs> this is the only way that I know of to find your seed. Um, and I guess I'll explain a little bit of what I read about how you find your seed. So, from what I understand, the seed is determined when you, um, when, based on when you hit, like, the start button on the title screen, um, to get, load your save file or whatever. And, um, it changes, like, every, every, like, uh, nanosecond or something like that. Here, I'm going to calculate. And th this is really unfortunate. Um, so, sometimes you'll get a, an IV that can only be determined at, like, an extremely high level. Um, you can do... what I think it's about the same to get, like, the Scyther to level 51 in terms of time as to resetting. But this ha I was hoping this wouldn't happen on my first attempt. So, what you have to do in this kind of scenario is um, you just have to reset. So, and then hit cancel here. You just have to reset and go again. Um, and so, I guess... Oh, I guess I'll show this process again. So, get to the start screen and hit space and start at the same time. And uh, do it all over again. I'll probably cut to when the Scyther is... Um, oops. To when the Scyther is uh, leveled out. And remember, the quicker... You don't have to be fast. Like, there's no actual rush. But being quicker just gives you more frames to choose from. So... Um, I'm going to pause it once my Scyther is leveled up and my stats are determined. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my exact IVs of my Scyther here. Um, and so what we're going to be doing is, I'm just going to put that to the side. Um, you're going to go into Poke Finder, you're going to click Gen 3 Tools, and you're going to do um, IV to PID. And you're going to type in the stats and nature and all that of it. So, 25, 13, 1... Uh, 9, 10, 13, and hit find, and you'll find this. Now, usually you'll only find, like, uh, one, but sometimes a bunch of these will pop up, and you're going to want to pick the one that says method one. Um, if there's multiple ones that say method one, you have to try both of them out, and I'll, I'll explain how to uh, distinguish it. So then you're going to go over to Fire Red Leaf Green Seed Finder and type the method one seed, which is this one right here. So, um, so 8, 7... Five six three two nine C and hit enter. So um, depending on how quickly you're able to purchase the so again, there's two results here. These could be the seeds, and then these are the frames you've gotten them at. So generally, if you're able to purchase your Scyther, but or whichever, you know, it doesn't like I said, it doesn't have to be Scyther. You could literally buy any of them here. If you're able to purchase them within, you know, eight to like eleven seconds, it'd probably be anywhere between four hundred and six hundred frames have passed so if there's two method one um, results and you type both seeds in you're going to want to go with the one that only one will ever probably spit out the uh, 450 frames so this is now my seed so what I'm going to do is go into uh, actually what I'll first do is back out and get in front of the Pokemon you're going to try an RNG so for the game corner Pokemon like I'm doing here it's going to be hit here and then when you hit this button it's going to be um, um, this is when it's generated after I hit this. And so, 
Um, in the Smogon thread, there's a nice list of all of the Method 1 stationary Pokemon and when you have to hit A for them, so that's really nice. So, anyway, for the Gen 3 stationary, I'm going to click uh, Stationary here in the Gen 3 section and have Fire Red Leaf Green in my profile. I just move my timer out of the way. Oh, and then this, so this is the reason you need this timer here. This timer counts up because Eon Timer doesn't. You see it's cancelled, so something's happening, but this is counting up, it just doesn't show it visually. So you need to know how long has passed. Um, and so, if you want a shiny only, check that box. And for your seed, you're just going to type that in. So, it's uh, 8FA2. So, I type that here. A2. And I hit jet now. So, if you want, if you don't hit shiny only, you'll see, you know, all this stuff here. And, you know, you could search for specific IVs or whatever like that. You know, for Clefairy and all that junk. But, um, in general, if you just want a shiny, like so, you know, you, you, can, you can search for how you like. Type in whatever search parameters you want here. IVs. Uh, you know, gender, nature, all that jazz. And uh, hit shiny only for me. That's all I'm going for. So this will list all of the um, all the shiny options you have. And again, you can increase the max results however you want. Um, so this is why you have to be fast. I could have gotten this one if I was faster. This comp frame here at 2 minutes 55 seconds. However, I wasn't able to get it. So, um, so I wasn't able to do all, all of this, uh, you know, finding my seed and, and all that in that quick of a time. So I have to aim for this frame instead, or, you know, even a later one. So you're going to type in which frame you're aiming for into Eon Timer. So that's 36103. Now, um, something to mention, your first attempt, you're almost never going to hit the shiny. And the reason, or whichever frame you're aiming for. And that the reason is, much like other Gen 3 games, um, there is a set amount of time that passes before a lot of these Pokemon. So, for example... Um, you know, like Kyogre and Groudon takes like 640 frames or something for their animation, right? Um, whereas Rayquaza only takes two. And I couldn't find any real information um, in the threads about how long these were. So you have to do all of this calibration by yourself. So um, I'm going to hit update here. And as you see, a timer appears now. And now you don't actually need this one anymore, but I leave it running anyway. And now all that happens is we wait for Eon Timer to count us um, down. And so I'll come back to you once Eon Timer is done. Okay, so we only have 14 seconds left. And you just have to press A to get the Pokemon or start the encounter or what have you in order to attempt to get the uh, Shiny. So here we go. So like I said, there's a large chance that your first attempt, you're not going to get it. So let's check out what I received. So this is a bashful one. So what we have to do now is figure out what frame we hit. And um, there's a few ways to do that depending on the level of the Pokemon. Um, for this Clefairy, you could use more, um, you know, I could use more rare candies uh, and do the Metal Kid Calculator method again. Um, but we'll see. So we were aiming for a hardy frame. So what I like to do is hit the two natures that I, I was aiming for and I got. So I got bashful. Oops. And I was aiming for hardy. And then um, I set it close to, so I'll do, um, I'll do like, I like to set it within a few hundred frames of the one I was aiming for. Oh, and uncheck shiny only, of course. So. so, this is the frame I was aiming for, and then these are the surrounding frames or so. Um, and from here, it's pretty hard to tell where you hit if you don't have a stat calculator. So I'm going to uh, calculate the Clefairy's stats. Okay, so I've done a quick stat calculation here. Um, as you can see, these are like pretty definitive, so I'm going to have to um, check. Um, so I'm looking for a 29 to 31 in defense and a 30 to 31 in special attack. Um, actually, I don't want to do this because, yeah, so we'll, we'll leave that at zero, but we're looking for it. The reason I'm not going to is because, um, it'll get rid of this one. So, looking for, um, 29 to 31, so. And in fact, it, it might be best to, oh yeah, defense. It might be best to expand the search range even more on your initial, um, on your initial attempt, so I will do that. Okay, so I'm fairly certain I found exactly the frame I hit, which is this one. So what we do from here now is we're going to open up our calculator, and we have to do the calibration by hand. So 
you do the frame you are aiming for subtracted by the frame you actually hit. And you do this even if you were above it, like you'd get a negative number and then you'll see. So I was aiming for three, six, one, zero, three. I have to subtract three, five, nine, seven, seven, three, five, nine. So it's 120, I was 126 frames early. So what this means is my next attempt, I will add 126 frames to the frame I'm aiming for. And you do this repeatedly over and over again and you'll do this adjustment every single time in order to deduce typically how many frames early or late you're being and you could do micro adjustments this way eventually. Um, so if you were late, let's say I was um, 36103 and I hit uh, 36203, right? Let's say I did this and I get minus 100. All that means is I would do is I would um, uh, instead add negative 100 to my target. So I would subtract 100 to my target every time. I mean, this is how you do your calibration. And so I'm going to show you my next, uh, I'm going to show you my final attempt uh, this time to show you the method I did. Okay, so here I am. Um, it's just a 250 speed clip of me doing the same process of starting Eon Timer and finding my initial seed uh, via Scyther. Like I said, you can do this with uh, basically any of the um, any of the game corner Pokemon you want. The, the trade-off is basically the lower level the Pokemon, the more rare candies you need, but the uh, Abra is only 180 coins, so it really depends on like what kind of resources you have, right? Um, I think in the long run, probably going for Scyther might be the best, just because um, you can technically farm infinite money, and you I don't know if there's like infinite rare candy tricks in this game, but... Uh, anyway, once I find the Pokemon here, um, or once I find all the stats here, um, I do my initial seed finding. Uh, I have a bold nature. I type in all my stats. Um, as you can see, I only have one method, one thing. So I type that in here, get my seed, um, and then I paste my seed here. Um, and it's really simple. Um, and I find a pretty low, only four minute modest frame, which is really cool. Um, and I was trying to figure out if that was the one I wanted to go for or not, but, um, and then I ended up, I think, adding 100 and like 8 or 106 frames or so. And that ended up being my ending calibration for Clefairy. It was varying around 105 to 109 frames every single time. And sometimes I would get large jumps where I was like 10 frames late. I tended to not count those and I would only do the most consistent um, amounts. Uh, like, you know, ones where I would only be like a few frames off. And um, yeah, you just have to do that subtraction calibration multiple times again and again. And eventually you'll figure out a pretty decent frame range for yourself. Um, and uh, it's coming down and I'm going to get the shiny in a second. But this is, at the end of the day, um, pretty tedious. But if you really want to go for it, go for it. And I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.